So Karnataka state, uh, like most other states in India, faces a very big problem of healthcare provider absenteeism. We have had initial surveys in Karnataka, which indicated that about 35% of the time only, the doctors are present at the primary health centers, and which means that about 65% times when patients come to visit a primary healthcare center, they either find the healthcare center locked or if the healthcare center is open, uh, then the, um, the doctor is not available. Then they get discouraged from using the formal healthcare system. And then they go to unlicensed healthcare providers, which means that the level of uh, care will not be at the same high standards that one expects from the government facilities. So the intervention was, uh, was a wonderful idea conceived by the government of Karnataka, the national health mission uh, at that time, led by Mr. Selva, a very dynamic young IS officer. The director of the national health mission reached out to Jay Paul and said, would it be possible to design a randomized evaluation so I really know whether th this new innovation is going to work or not, and I only want to scale it up if it works. And the intervention was kind of very simple. It said that the reason that a lot of the time, the, uh, there is absenteeism in the healthcare providers is because there is no way to know who's coming or showing up for work and who's absent. And rather than using these paper registers, which are very hard to keep track of and very easy to manipulate, let's replace that with this electronic biometric identification so that every time a healthcare provider comes, uh, they put in their biometric identification, which is then connected through the cell phone. So somebody sitting in the state capital in Bangalore instantaneously knows which doctor or which healthcare provider is, uh, is present or not. Now, this was overlaid with a very uh, hypothetically very robust system of incentives and disincentives for showing up or not showing up for work. I think everybody was surprised to see that the increase was, it was a decent increase, about 15% increase in the attendance of healthcare providers, but not the significant increase that everybody had been hoping for. In this case, what we found out was that most of the increase in attendance was being driven not by the doctors, but by the non-doctoral staff. So by the pharmacist, by the nurse, by the lab technicians. Uh, on the other hand, the, the doctors, their attendance did not increase at all. There were kind of two broad reasons why the, the, the doctor's attendance did not increase. The first reason was because the government was unable to systematically impose penalties or disincentives for attendance or non-attendance. And then the second big reason was that in the rural setting in Karnataka, there is actually an acute shortage of doctors. There are many primary, I think about 20% primary health centers which don't even have a doctor. This uh, or CD experience has given us the opportunity to understand that the uh, infrastructure and the doctor requirements in the primary health system needs to be first addressed uh, before uh, doing the upscaling of the program. If we have upscaled without this uh, CT experiences, then uh, we would have wasted the public money, maybe in, in terms of millions and billions. So it's, it's better uh, we had a, a clear RCT experience and based on that we have taken the decision and I'm happy that uh, we have not gone ahead with the upscaling of the program based on this experience. A well-designed randomized evaluation can give information not just about scaling up but it also can give information about mechanisms and about causes of something and then if it finds failure instead of success if you have the right implementing partner which has the courage to take these results uh, and to do the right thing with them, then in the long run, we can not just learn, but we can save millions of dollars in taxpayer money and wasted effort. So if we are uh, having an informed decision, then naturally it will be the best decision uh, uh, as a policymaker to implement it in the field.